Hello, today we're going to be talking about fractions of sets. And to start us off, we're going to have our math message, which is, if you have 20 pennies, how many would be one half? So those aren't necessarily pennies in my picture, but they do represent pennies. So if I have 20 so-called pennies, how many would be one half? Well, one way that I could do that is I could divide it into two groups and make sure that I have the same number in each group. And so in this case, one half of 20 would be 10 pennies. Okay. But what if we had 24 pennies and I wanted you to find two thirds? In this case, when I look at that, it kind of looks like a mess, right? So I might want to put my pennies into three groups. So I'm just going to, whoops, going to kind of move things around here. And I'm going to try to make three groups. So this will be my first group, second group, third group. And then I'm going to continue to move my pennies into each of those groups and hope that I don't run out of space here. And this is the neat thing about this program is I can actually move things around. They're not necessarily even at the moment, but I'll try to fix that here in a few minutes. And as I move these, try to get them lined up a little bit better. Okay, I've got three groups, and how many do I have in each group? Okay, I have eight in each group. So there's eight in this row, eight in this row, and eight in this row. So if I were trying to find two-thirds of 24 pennies, it would be two groups of eight or 16 cents, okay? So for that one, it would be 16 cents because it's 16 pennies and each one is worth one cent. Now, what if I wanted to find one third Again, I'm going to need three groups, right? Because three is my whole part, right? And one is the part of the whole. So three groups, um, I've already got it in three groups. I just need one part of that three groups. So in this case, one of those rows is going to be one third so in this case, that's eight pennies or eight cents. Okay, so this is one way that we can figure out the fraction of money, or even if it weren't money, if it were objects, we could find the fraction of with pictures. Another strategy that we can use is some division and some multiplication. So I've got four examples here on this slide, and you'll notice the first one says two-thirds of 24. Now that 24 could be 24 cents, it could be 24 cars, it could be 24 markers, or anything like that. But basically, you're going to take your 24, which comes down here, and I'm going to divide it by 3, and then I'm going to multiply that times two, just so you can see where those numbers are coming from. 
So that turns into 24 divided by 3 times 2. And when I do that, it equals 16. So our next problem is 1 third of 24. So I'm going to do it the same way that I just showed you. I'm going to take that 24. I'm going to divide by 3. And then I'm going to multiply that times 1, which is going to give me 8. So in this case, 1 third of 24 would be 8. Next problem, we have 1 fourth of 32 cents. And same process, I'm going to do 32 divided by 4 times 1 is going to give me 8 cents. Notice I had to put my label on there because this one's money. And then we have 1 fifth of 30 cents. So again, I'm going to do 30 divided by 5 times 1. It's going to give me 6 cents. So to summarize what we've learned today, we learned that we can figure a fraction of something like money. We can use pictures or we can divide and multiply. Thanks for watching.